I'm going to test screen capture software uh, for my friend Nate, and I'm going to give him a tutorial about how to uh, start and play Minecraft. So this is going to be Nate's... There we go, Nate's tutorial. So I'm going to create a new world for Nate, and we're going to play Minecraft to show him how the game begins. So here we are, in a brand new world. It has populated everything and is slowly filling in the clip plane. And you start with no items in your item list, and you need to start by bashing a tree. So we will start the game by attacking this tree. Note that it's giving me log blocks then come into my inventory, with which I will proceed to beat down the rest of this tree. Hopefully you can hear the sound of the zombies meet. I don't know if this is recording the audio from the game. I really do hope it is. Because it is bright and early in the morning, Minecraft time, there are zombies below me in the caves. And because I am within a ra certain range of them, they are making sounds as my warning that they are nearby. So the first thing I broke was an oak tree, two oak trees. This is a birch tree. Um, that is a way for you to not always have the same type of wood if you need to make different types of things, but also because it fills your inventory differently. You'll notice that it stacks separately than the oak logs. So, there are some really nice animals over here, which I will be using to start my first food supply. Mm. But, uh, first things first, bring up the inventory and make mm. some oak planks. From the oak planks, we will oops, we'll make a crafting table. Crafting tables are incredibly important. I'll put that here. Now my crafting space is 3x3 three three as opposed to 2x2, two two, from which I'm now going to shift click and create all kinds of planks. Then I'm going to right click to pick them up and make all kinds of sticks from the sticks. Oops. You can only stack 64 large, by the way, so it will always break there. So let me pull off a couple stacks of planks. Right-clicking will pick up half of a stack, and right-clicking when it's in your hand will put down one of a single type. Now I have a pickaxe. Now I have a wood axe. And now I have a shovel. I will need one more of these. And here I will make for myself a sword. And then I will make for myself a hoe for having, putting stuff in the ground. So now I have all of my normal tools and some wood. So, starting off with killing some animals for food. Uh, sheep, by the way, do not give you food. Ah. You have to jump between each block, by the way, if it is a, if it is a full block. If it is a half, half block, you can step up onto it. Sheep do not give you food, sheep give you wool. And I need three wool. Note that that was a gray sheep and a white sheep, so that they do not stack the same color wool. Now I have three wool, and I have some raw meat. I will kill this pig too. Come back here, pig. Thank you. Because I have played this level, I opened it up a little ahead of time, I knew that this would be a good place 
to start um, a house. So I will clear out some of the space. Note that every time you leave a block behind, it repairs. Regular stone becomes cobblestone, which is in my inventory now. I need a minimum of nine pieces. I have ten pieces, but I will finish out the floor here and have a couple extra. So pickaxes, which are at my number one slot, are good for stone, and shovels are good for dirt. So here we have that. Need to make my life getting out of this hole a little easier. I so will break these down. So I don't get stuck anymore. So you have 10 items that go 1 to 10, and then you have all the stuff in your inventory, and you can change things up and down as you wish, and they become available to you. So back to my crafting table. I take these cobblestone and outline for myself a furnace. So that is the next thing I need. Then, with the axe, I will break up my crafting table, get it back, you notice. And then I will come in here, and I will start my house. So, furnace goes here, crafting table goes here. Uh, into the furnace, I need a source of fuel. So, this is the fuel spot, this is what you are burning. So I will take a piece of birch wood, put it in the bottom, put more wood in the top, and it will burn the wood and turn it into charcoal. Charcoal then being useful to make torches. Um, I also happen to know, as I played this a little earlier, there's coal up in this mountain. Also the mountain has a fun shape, so I'm gonna run up there real quick. And mine out some coal. Notice the grass color changing. This is a slightly different biome. This biome is a frost biome. It is snowy up here. And there are chickens around. And the light hasn't completely updated. But I can come over here and attack a chicken. Notice how that when you are within a certain range, the things will auto pick up for you. Back over here to where I'm going to get my coal. Ooh, more chickens. Chickens! I shouldn't kill all the chickens because I will need at least two later. So, pull out the pickaxe. Notice that there's an experience bar at the bottom of the screen. It is going up as I do this. If I can do this from really far away, you'll see the little green balls show up when you've done something. And the green balls will attract to you from much further away than normal items. You get experience from mining, you get experience from crafting, you get experience from killing monsters. And depending on what you kill and what you mine, it gives you different amounts. So although there is more coal here, and I will be back for it, I am going to quickly just grab a couple mushrooms, and then head back to my house, because I don't want the day to end, and I have not yet built what I need to build. So, I will come back for that later.
little more wood. So I will bust up another tree or two. Notice that this is going much faster than it did when I had just my fists. And I can fit under the tree with just two blocks missing. Every time you need to get into a space, two blocks is enough. Okay, so we have a burning zombie coming towards us. Yay! They burn in the sunlight, which is handy. And they catch me on fire, which is not so handy. Okay, so note I have taken damage now. This is not good. Not good at all. Okay, well, that shows you how you die. Great. I did such a good job. I wasted too much time on the top of the hill. There is my little house. And my little... It's over here. That isn't. It's over here. So, the day is ending. Oh my goodness. This sucks. Okay. Die, 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 die. Get all my items back. Get all my items back. Okay. So, very quickly, let me put down something. Shift space come in here. I need at least six planks. I now have nine. I will create a door, which I will put there. This is not the best, but it will do. So in here I now have some charcoal. Charcoal plus a stick is a torch. Notice the extra stuff that I didn't use fell out. So, put a torch on the wall here. Torch on the wall here. Here. Then close the door and pretend that I'm safe. Which I'm not really, but we'll just pretend. We'll open up this house a little bit further. Because, as I get these, I can then start filling in the wall back to being solid again. Mm. Like solid walls. Remove this. So there, so I have a little more space in here. Now, because I talked about wool earlier, if you put three wool down and you have three planks, you get a bed. Beds are incredibly useful because they let you pass the night. So I turn sideways, put the bed out. If there are no monsters nearby and I right click the bed, I can make the night go away. So here is now sunlight again. Hooray, hurrah. I need that to be rock. Rock is good. Let me come back to the shovel. Make another rock. So now I have rocks and stuff happening here. So, let's talk about food. Well, no. Let's need more. I have plenty. Plenty of wood. Close the door. Use the wood. One log of wood down. Six logs of wood on top. Should get more charcoal. While that's happening, I think I have one torch left. This one torch I will put here. 
here and come down and pick up some mushrooms. One, three, four mushrooms. So now I have four brown mushrooms and four red mushrooms. Okay, so back to my crafting table. Which wood becomes planks. Planks in the shape of a bowl become four bowls. Four bowls plus four mushrooms of those types become shift click stew. So now I can mess over the stew. I'm not hungry yet, but I could eat it. Next thing I need, I have oh, need more wood. Always need more wood. When in doubt, close the door. Always a good idea. Close the damn door. Oh, that's not an axe. This is an axe. At this point, oh, spider, where's my sword? Where's my sword? I don't have a sword anymore. That's a problem. Okay, I'll just hit you with an axe then. Slower, but still capable. Ah, from trees as they die, and as the leaves fall away, apples will drop. They will drop from any type of tree. Don't think that it's just oak trees. All trees are apple trees in this game. Not that that makes any sense. Um, also from trees, as they as they fall, you will get um, bits of new tree saplings that you can use to plant more trees. Here I'm looking for seeds, because at some point in the future I will make a small garden. And you get seeds for your garden from grass. Let me close this again. Furnace is off. One charcoal. Okay, put one charcoal there. I have coal. Wait a second. How did I do that? That was dumb. Whatever. It's good enough. Let me take a moment. Um. Furnace. That furnace mm. back there. To this furnace I will put coal. And then into the furnace I will put a chicken. Or my six chickens. And I will eventually have food. Um, with my remaining stone here, since I don't have a sword at the moment, I'll make a stone sword. And then use some of my remaining stone to make a stone pickaxe because that's about to die. Need a little more stone. Um, under each of your tools is a health meter. It tells you how long the tool will last. My pickaxe and my axe are almost gone. My shovel hasn't been used very much. So and now have placements. I am kind of one of those people that wants everything in the same spot all the time. So let me rearrange my inventory so that that is the case. So now I have replacements here for when those fall apart. Uh, next, let me make some more wood blocks, more planks. Oops. Pick them back up. Okay. 
So then back in here. I can make a chest. In fact, I will make two chests. And along this wall. There's one chest that has this many spaces in it. I will just put the things in it just so you see what happens. And then, so they're in those spaces. And I put the next chest next to it, they combine. So these are the original spaces, and now these are the spaces of the thing next to it. Now I can empty out my inventory, minus some of the things I need, like food. kind of need food. Uh, eggs are not directly useful, they need to be processed. So, six cooked chickens. In here, I have charcoal. And so, at the moment, I can then take sticks, charcoal, shift click, and now I have 20 torches. Those torches are important for keeping things away. Mm. Now I can put extra torches down here, that we have before. Make sure that everything is lit up well. We got a spider that's down there somewhere. Who knows? Up right there. Stuff's happening. There's a bat flying around. Um, after you have made wood things, and after you have then gotten stone and made stone things, the next thing you need is iron. And I happen to know that over here there is a deposit of iron. I think it is down here. Hello, bat. Where are you at? Ah, iron. This is what iron looks, iron ore looks like. Notice how slow this is. Wood is not good for mining iron. So let me switch to my stone pickaxe. It'll go much quicker. These are the iron blocks, iron ore. Um, you can use the roll wheel of your mouse, by the way, to change what you're using. Oh, there's some more iron down here. Maybe. Oh, look, there's a skeleton. I don't want him to see me. There's more coal there if I want it, which I don't particularly at the moment. Ah, this is the, I thought I saw this. So let me that. Throw more stone while I'm at it. Because having too much stone is generally not a problem until much later. So, little waterfall. Sure, I'll grab a little coal while I'm at it. So, I haven't really made a place for myself yet. This is not my hill. My hill is over here. The sun accurately tracks in the sky. If I stand here for a second, you can watch it fall and watch the evening come. And then, monsters come out. Let me put you know, a torch out here. Put a torch over here. Put a torch up here. Just so that there's pools of light around my place. So that things do not spawn on top of me. You notice that I now have saplings. I planted the saplings to make new trees. They will eventually grow. So this is the end of this day. X. Move that over there. Another 
torch on the wall just to make sure I have plenty of light. Then into the furnace goes coal with the iron ore. And out we get an iron ingot. Now, one piece of coal put in the bottom of a furnace will last through eight blocks. Mm. So, since I put five in, I will be plenty fine and it will burn and it will be great. Into here, I will pull out my raw pork chops and raw beef. Put here, put one piece of coal. Mm. Let's start with the pork chops. Three ingots. Four ingots. Five ingots. That's all I've got for now. Um, I can put some beef in here and it will cook. And eventually, we'll pull half the beef out because it won't all cook. Since this is done, put the beef in there and it will cook. So. With ingots, you can, for example, make a helmet. You can make boots. If I had two more ingots, I'd be able to make um, pants, because that would be the shape of pants, and several other things. However, armor is not as necessary right now as materials for these, so you can also come back and make an iron sword like that. And I'll also use my iron to make an iron pickaxe. So I now have three grades of pickaxes. Your basic wooden pickaxe, your stone pickaxe, and then when that is broken I will move on to the iron pickaxe and I have no more iron anymore. So Apples, for example. Notice my food meter has two missing from it. Um, if I eat an apple, it fills two. Some of the other things in my inventory currently, mushroom stew replaces more hearts, the chickens replace a quite great number of hearts. There's my beef. There's my beef. So now I have cooked meat to go along with what I've got. So. Let's burn some more this coal in. Burn some more wood, get some more charcoal, and make some more torches. You can make torches from coal. It's just not as efficient. Charcoal is much better for it. So next on the list, the things to do. Assuming that there aren't any bad guys around. Uh, there's a nice spot over here. Oh! The worst enemy in the game. Not the worst. The most obnoxious enemy in the game. Just popped his head up. It's a creeper. Come on, creeper. Yeah, that's what happens with creepers. They blow up. Now it's incredibly silent. So, yeah, don't tangle with them if you don't have to. I did that only because I wanted to show you what, it ha what happens. Okay. seeds. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, let's see that, twelve. I thought I just heard that. Great. By the way, skeletons are archers. Right 
hate you. Okay, when your health, whoop, go away creeper, go away creeper, you can successfully kill a creeper, not have him choose to blow up, you get gunpowder. Gunpowder you can use to make dynamite. But you have to kill creepers in order to do it. Uh oh. Okay. Way up there, I'm gonna back up. Black shape. That is an Enderman. And I bounced over. And he doesn't like me. Shit, shit, shit. Uh oh. Shit. If you bounce over an Enderman, they will fight you. But yeah, that's what happens when you fight an Enderman. <sighs> but, I slept in a bed. Sleeping in a bed is very key. Sleeping in a bed allows you to respawn at the bed. Otherwise, who knows where you'll respawn. Oh god. Enderman. The key to Enderman, however, is they will not attack you if you do not mouse over them with your cursor. So, as long as you stare at the ground, they will not come after you. Yeah, why did I pick a fight with an Enderman? I have no idea. Anyway, let's go to the hoe. Yeah, let's start farming in the middle of the night. Not because it's a smart idea, but because I can. I'm making a tutorial. So now I've planted the seeds in the ground. They are within two spaces of water, and they will eventually grow. If I kill skeletons... Oop, oh, Enderman's still over there. Keep your eyes down. Eyes down. Okay, where's my sword? Let's go quickly with the iron sword. It does more damage. Ow. Can you give me anything useful? Okay. Ah! Enderman's still around. What are you doing? So give me arrows. What I really want is I want to show you what happens when you put bone marrow on your plants. Here I am going around picking fights. Mm -hmm. Not because it's a smart idea, but because I want to show you things. Really? No skeletons? Oh, creepers. Great. That's what I needed. Good. This is an entrance into the cave I had before. It's just a different part of that cave system. And a floating block, because why not? We. Experience? I'll take it. Uh, Cow, what are you doing down here? Oh. Oh. Hmm. Iron. Iron is enough for a pair of shoes.
Another nice thing, by the way, about leaving torches everywhere is it tells you where you've been and where your home is. Furnace. Oh, charcoal. Need that. So let's put a piece of coal in. Put our ore in. Let us take some of our sticks and our new charcoal. We'll make more torches. Because torches are good. Now, okay, so sword. No swords. Uh, wood pickaxe. Iron pickaxe. Stone pickaxe. Uh, no. Trees. Get there. So I need a better shovel is what I need. So let me get some iron. Put me mm. iron there. The sticks there, and now I will have an iron shovel. Yes, that is what I will do. Into chest goes the things that I can't use off the top of my oh. Let's do this. Four string, one, two, three string in this pattern, and three sticks in a bent pattern. So unsurprisingly gives you a bow. Now I have something to go along with my arrows. So string, there. Saplings. Pull the wood out. I don't need to carry all this stuff. And raw beef. So this is basically what Minecraft is and how it works. So hopefully you've come to understand kind of what it's about. And then after you get a stack of things, for example, here and get my stack of dirt. Just for the hell of it now, because I have the dirt, I'm going to Let's do it like this. Um, hmm, maybe I need to go the other way now. If you hold the crouch key, you can lean on to the very, very side of things. Whoop, don't fall. Very side of things. There we go. And just because I felt like it, I made this funny tower looking thing. Ow. Um, so yeah. Oh. Hooray, hurrah. I built a thing. You can build whatever you want. However you want. And that is my Minecraft tutorial. It ended up being a bit longer than I wanted, but hopefully you learned a lot. Thanks for watching.